because I think I just found something that doesn't look good. Look at this. Yes, finally. What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode for Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and comment your thoughts and ideas down below. Let's go ahead and start this episode off. We are gonna be working on the GTR and as you guys can see around and behind me and over here, we got some good amount of snow. This right here literally dumped in over two nights. We got probably like 14 inches of snow, which is really darn rare for Seattle, Washington. So kind of surprised, but we don't have time to slack and we gotta get right back to work. In this episode, we're gonna be working on the GTR quarter panel. And as I showed you guys in the previous episode, we did have some damage on the structural part of the quarter panel. And since we have a donor quarter panel right over there, what we're gonna do is actually replace, replace all those structural parts. Let's go ahead and step inside the shop and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. It is quite loud here, so that's why I filmed the intro outside and show you guys that beautiful weather. But here is what we're gonna be working on. Well, here actually, but the reason why I pointed up here is because we gotta take this piece off. It's overlapping this piece over here that we're gonna pull off as well because it doesn't really pull too well. I've noticed that when pulling structural panels, man, this stuff is just hardcore. Then we're gonna replace this piece over here. We're gonna fix this over here, weld this back up, pull this back out, probably replace this piece as well. We'll see what we have access to once we start stripping things apart. And this bottom one here, what I'm thinking is, once it's all you know disassembled, we can most likely section it on this line here, or and then pull the rest out, because the damage actually goes all the way up to here. So here, if we have a section open, we can pull this stuff out, get it back into its original space or spec. The inside here is not damaged, so we're pretty lucky as well. And then the ins or the underside over there is not damaged either. So it's kind of, kind of, I mean, like it's kind of just very shallow damage, but it is damaged. So we're gonna get all this stuff fixed up. First thing we're gonna do is try to drill out these spot welds with our drill bit made for spot welds. If that doesn't work, since this is high strength steel, if that doesn't work, we're gonna use our belt file. But guys, let's just go ahead and get into working because we do have a crazy amount of work to do. To get the working gloves on. We got Wally running back there. Let's get it done, boys. So the bits are actually taking way too long and I feel like the bits, it just destroys the bits. So I tried to drill it here and here, as you guys can see, it just barely goes through and it's not doing what it needs to. Since this metal is so thick, it's just, I'm better off using this belt file over here. And as you guys can see over here, I already got two of them uh, belt filed out, sanded down. And I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera, but you can see the inner piece of metal kind of haloing through. And as soon as you see that, basically that means you're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and continue doing this all around. And if you look here, there's just about a million of these things that need to be done. So it's gonna take us a while, put you guys on a time lapse, get it done. Catch you guys when we're ready to pull this piece off. Let's get it.
heavy, dude. It's actually really heavy. Look at that, more damage. Right there. And right here, too. Yeah. This should be out here. As you guys saw over here, we got this piece off. This is really thick. This is the high strength stuff. This is the stuff that's for your safety, the B pillar. This stuff is really hard to work with. This over here is much thinner and it's easier to work with. This right here is really thin, you see? But that's not what I'm saying right now. What I'm saying is that we discovered more damage and go ahead and imagine this. So imagine we were pulling this piece out. So we grab something and we're pulling it it's really hard for us to pull two uh, different pieces of metal at the same time. For pulling that one, it's just gonna rip it on the spot weld. So that's why we had to uncover all this, that way we can see this. So now, our choice here is to either pull this or replace, and what we're gonna do is section or replace. I'm gonna go ahead and section it somewhere over here, right before where the quarter panel ends. That way I can uh, weld it up, knock it down, prime it, and just cover it up. Basically make it look pretty darn OEM, covered up with the quarter panel. This here, we're gonna pull out. Once this is cut, I'm gonna get something in here, pull it, play with it, and get this back to its OEM spec. Um, besides that, all we're gonna do is just do one straight cut here, section this piece off. Once this is off, we're gonna replace this. Once this is off, we're gonna um, fix this and replace this as well. So, basically the same exact order of operation, getting this thing off, but with these, I'm gonna try with the drill bit first because it's much thinner here, and if it does work with the drill bit, this is gonna take us like 30 minutes. If it doesn't, it's gonna take us about an hour and a half. Let's get right into it.
Yes, finally. Woo! All the damage stuff is off, dude. That is a crazy amount of work. Well, we got everything revealed and pretty darn happy that we don't have much more damage inwards. It doesn't seem like we have to pay, uh, pull anything back here. I don't see any kind of funny seam seal cracking, anything like that. I will compare it to the other side just because I see this little funny wave. But it might just be like that. So it looks like it should just be like that. Not too sure just yet because I think I just found something that doesn't look good. Look at this. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but it's right there where my finger is. Oh man. Oh man, this damage went in deep. See if I can pull that up. Wow, oh, right there's a little buckle too, right there. Let me pull this up. Got some little unfortunate news right there. We got some more damage. So as you guys can see right where this thing is, right here my finger is playing with it. Yeah, let me get some light under. Right there, you guys can see a buckle. And then you can see some buckle right there. Ah, uh, it's whatever though. We're pretty darn, pretty darn deep in. We have just this one little panel left and that's basically the inside of the car. Imagine we make this like huge door or something. <laughs> no, but. A four door? Yeah, a four door <laughs> GTR, yeah. But anyways, that's where we're at right now. We're gonna go ahead and fix this up. Probably do a little pull because here's the way that I was just talking about earlier. You can see it kind of waves out right there. So I feel like if we grab one of our pulling clamps that is on the wall over there, figure something out we can put like a block of wood in here and just kind of give this a good pull I'm sure it's only just about that much that really went in because it can't really be too much more all this other stuff on the outside took all the impact so we're gonna get this pulled out make sure it's nice and perfectly OEM spec but uh, what we're gonna do in this episode to finish it off is we're gonna repair this over here so we're gonna repair this panel here and then probably do a light pull we're gonna change the car on that way so we can do a light pull it's funny because we started off doing this quarter panel swap just thinking that it's just a quarter panel, which I have no idea why I thought that. Usually I would, I didn't really look at the car when we basically, when it was outside, I didn't even care for it. We're working on so much projects that I'm just like, eh, whatever, however deep it goes, we're gonna fix it, you know? But this is actually really darn deep and people are saying, oh, I'm regretting purchasing this car. No, not really, it's just part of the game. Like you just, we got our donor quarter panel, so we have all these parts and we have a frame machine, we have everything, like just time and, I love doing this, like I, I love doing this, so it's not really that big of a deal, it's keeping me busy, and it's fun. It's fun to show you guys content, show you guys how this stuff is fixed and this stuff is done. But, pretty happy where we are right now. Let's go ahead and clamp this thing onto our post with one of these and just kind of give it a couple of pulls. We're gonna go ahead and straighten this out over here and then figure something out. What are we gonna do over here? Let's get right into it.
right guys, take a look at this. So we have the car tied down up front over here. And then we had one tie strap in the back, both to the subframe, both to the frame rails. That way it's not gonna be bending any control arms or anything funny like that. Although the pull that we were just doing is not anything significant. Why I say that? I mean, yes, it's a pretty strong metal that we're pulling, but it's not like a frame rail. Um, we actually tore apart the whole quarter panel, as you guys can see. So all this stuff here is what makes, I guess, pulling that area much harder. But since we uh, tore all this stuff apart, we're just only pulling one or two layers of metal. Let's go ahead and take a look. Right here, we just pulled out this piece. And as you guys can see, it's basically naked. Uh, this is the piece right here. So take a look at that. So this is the piece right here that we just pulled. It's inside there, a little bit dark, but it's one layer. And basically all we're pulling, this here is really flimsy, so this was an easy pull, but we got this thing nice and straight now. So you guys can see the buckle that was here is basically gone now. Yeah, it's kind of a, you know kinked up, but it's gone. So the buckle there is gone, meaning that we pulled this back into a spec, and I was looking from the top, it was a little bit bent in, and now it's nice and flat, just how it should be sitting. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode over here because in the next episode, we have that donor quarter panel that we gotta completely strip. We have a ton of work on our hands and we basically gotta do this with that donor quarter panel. And then after that is basically stripped off, we gotta go ahead and reinstall all these structural panels on this side here and then put on that skin. Doing all that, we must save all those panels because we're gonna be using them on this car here. So it's gonna be kind of tough. I'm probably gonna get a really, really, really strong drill bit and a little bit bigger than these um, weld spots. That way I can drill them nice and basically make plug holes and then weld the plug holes in onto this quarter panel. So you guys will see what I'm talking about in the next episode. But for this one, this is gonna be it. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching till the very, very end. Stay tuned. You guys have a beautiful rest of the day or night, wherever you guys are watching this from. And I'm gonna wrap the episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Buy some merch to support the channel. And I'm out.